welcome back to Living 757. <laughs> Quincy, we've been talking about being safe since we are still in our houses, right? So right. it is very important also to keep our homes safe. To talk about this today, we can now welcome now Kendall Bodner from AC Masters. Welcome, Kendall. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Okay, so excited to have you today. Um, we know that our AC Master is still open during this pandemic, right? Right. And how important is the indoor air quality in our home since we are all stuck in our houses? Well, of course, it's, uh, it's very important anyway, especially to us. We like to focus on our customers' comfort, but you know, now that we're spending a lot more time at home, you're going to find out very quickly how important it is. Um, <laughs> So, but for us, I mean, indoor air quality is a big part of what we do. And when I talk about indoor air quality, what I really mean is what it sounds like, the quality of the air inside the home, specifically relating to health and comfort. So is the air musty, smelly, dirty, or is it clean and comfortable like you want? So that's really what we're going to, what we focus on. Yeah, you know, and it's interesting, it's interesting too, Kendall, because um, with people that have pets, I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, everybody being congested and being, you know, trapped in this confined space causes a little bit more attention that you have to pay to your air, air filters, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, typically when we're talking about uh, air filters and what kind to use and how to change, that's going to be dependent on your home environment anyway. So if you have a lot of pets or you have smokers in the house or uh, something that might create more particulates, you're going to be a little more mindful of your filters. Um, so if you're going to be inside a lot more, you're going to have a lot more traffic. You definitely want to be checking them pretty regularly. We recommend uh, every 30 days or so. Um, and that's just really a good timeline, but it really depends on what you see when you pull open that filter. And you, if you see it looks dirty and it doesn't look like air is going to get through, it's probably time to change it. Okay. Okay. So we have to actually go and check the filter. It's not other way to see it, right? We have to go and see it. Yes, Patricia. Yeah, you you I, never have a whole I never I never do that. <laughs> don't be don't be like my don't be like my friends that call me up and they're like, Hey, what's wrong with my air AC? And I'm like, if you check the filter and they're like, What filter? <laughs> I was but, about to ask you that question because maybe some people they don't feel you know, they don't notice that you have to change your air filters in order to keep your unit running in good conditions, right? Mm hmm That's very important. Um big part of your system, of course, is I mean, what your system does is it circulates air within your house. And if it can't get air, not only can it not do its job, but that's going to put a lot of strain on your system, and that's going to create problems down the road, um, both indoor air quality and mechanical. So it's definitely nice. one, of the, one of the keys to keeping your system up and running and your home comfortable. Absolutely, okay. Kendall. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, Patricia. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think we have a video also, but my next question is, like, what safety precautions AC Master is taking when they walk into the people's home? Absolutely. It's a good question. Um, so for us, one of the most important things that we wanted to make sure was that our techs were a, had the equipment they needed to be safe around our customers. I mean, we put the safety of our techs uh, first and foremost, and we put the safety of our customers first and foremost, because, you know, that's what we do. Um, so we've made sure that our technicians have access to masks, gloves, um, safety goggles, and we've also provided them with disinfectant, spray cleaners, everything we can to help them be safe and leave this every surface that they encounter in a home cleaner than they found it. Um, actually, what you're seeing right there, that's one of our technicians coming up to a home. Alan was very nice to let me film him <laughs> during, the, uh, during this outbreak. We had to get some gorilla footage. Um, but yeah, we do our best to try and minimize our impact on the home maybe even leave the home a little cleaner than we found it. And mm -hmm. also um, within our office as well, there he is checking the filter, what he was talking about. You just yes. pull it open and check. Okay. Um, but also, and within our office, we're also practicing um, social distancing as much as possible. We've limited traffic within, staggered some of the office staff. And of course, we've advised our technicians to wear that PPE whenever they interact with customers and whenever they're inside a home. It well, hey, we, we yeah. certainly do appreciate uh, a plethora of, of all of that information because it does it does make sense 
during this time we're all together, then we definitely need to bring breathe clean of air. So thank you very <laughs> yeah. much, Kendall, for all of that information. We Thank you so that. much, Kendall. Absolutely. Oh, thank all you. Right. Have a good one. <laughs>